Alright, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start by giving all praises and glory to Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shah, Basham, Rakakodash. Double honor to my apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and tell you, taste all the brothers through this work and truth and sincerity. Um, this lesson is through the spirit and power of Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shah. You know, because we was up there with the brothers in Atlanta. You know, and. You know, the brother, the head brother of the Atlanta camp was speaking to us about us, the brothers concerning, you know, having, you know, faith and having confidence in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. You know, wish that word confidence. It, I'm, I'm not going to spoil it, so I'm going to just let the spirit work. This is uh, Proverbs 3 and 26. For Yahweh sh shall be thy confidence and shall keep thy foot from being taken. In the fear of Proverbs 14 and 26. In the fear of Yahweh is strong confidence, and his children shall have a place of refuge. Now, when you go into that word confidence, which I don't, you know, I looked it up. You know, on the online etymology dictionary. Um, it's a lot. It says assurance or belief in the good will. You know, and the specific definition I wanted to pull out was down here at like Taurus, like the middle part of the paragraph. It says, firmly trusting, bold. And it also says to to have full trust or reliance. So the scriptures also tell us to have trust in Yahweh. Trust in the Lord, you know, lean not unto thy own understanding, you know, because, you know, that links right up. Uh. I'm trying to find a good precept through the spirit, you know, because the men of the Lord had confidence, you know, and it's not to get confused with pride, you know, and the brother made that very clear. You know, you can have confidence and not be proud, you know, it's all about the humble humbleness of your mind, man. Philippians 1 and 25. And having this confidence, I know that I, sh I shall abide and continue with you all for your fur furtherance and your joy of faith. You know, so we have confidence. We have confidence. Second Thessalonians 3 and 4. And we have confidence in the Lord touching you. That ye both do and will do the things which we command you. You know, we have trust in the Lord, man. Hebrews 10 and 35. Cast not away, therefore, your confidence, which hath been great recompense of reward. So we not ought not to cast away our confidence, man. You know, because one thing the brother was, you know, you know, speaking to our spirits about was about, you know, Saying we wasn't shit, you know, which we are, you know, in being in this flesh, man, you know, that's a that's a humble statement. But at the same time, you got to have confidence that Yahweh Shai considers us precious in his eyes. You know, we not we are something to Yahweh Shai because, you know, we, we are doing his will. We're doing his work. You know, we 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 are we are more than just shit, man. You know, we are something. We we are the prophets of Yahweh Hashem Shah, and we doing His will. So we ought to have that confidence that Yahweh Hashem Shah will deliver us. You know, when that day that that time comes, you know, because we had that confidence. We was like, oh, get to the day of Jacob's trouble and be like, well, I ain't shit, man. You know, the Lord ain't gonna deliver me, man. That's basically doubting, man. You know, you doubting in Yahweh Hashem Shah. You know. Of course, saying you ain't shit is a humble statement, but at the same time, you got to have that confidence in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. And that's what the brother was pointing out when he was telling us, man. Ooh, first, first John 2 and 28. And now, little children, abide in him that when ye shall appear, we may have confidence and not be ashamed before him at his coming. You know, and right now it's before his coming. You know, so we got... We got to remain confident in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh while, while, you know, we are walking this walk, man. 
1 John 3 and 21. Beloved, if our heart condemn us not, then have we confidence toward the most high. That's the spirit, man. That's the spirit. 1 John 3 and 21. If our heart condemn us not, I ain't shit, you know. You know? You got to have confidence. You can't let your heart condemn you, man. You know? Because that's, that's a humbling statement. But the brother said, man, it's, it's a such thing as being too humble, man. It's a such thing as being too humble. So you got to balance it out through the spirit. You can't have pride in the Lord, of course, because the Lord hates that. You got to have confidence. With that word confidence goes back to trusting and believing in him. You know, I'm not going to make this too long. The spirit's kind of late, so you know I'm trying to get it, get in, get out. Um, this is Proverbs three and five, which is in the same chapter that other scripture is, verse twenty six. Yep, there it is. Okay, this is Proverbs three and five. Trust in Yahweh with all thine heart. So have confidence in Yahweh by Shemuel shall with all thine heart, and lean not on unto thine own understanding. So don't lean on to your un own understanding. Oh, I ain't shit. No. We are vessels of the Lord. We have the word of Yahweh by Shema Shah, something that's very precious in the earth. So we are something, you know, we are prophets. We are, we are important, you know. We play a very specific, we play a very play a important role in this truth, uh, in this word, in the will of Yahweh by Shema Shah. So we must carry ourselves and have faith and confidence in Yahweh by Shemuel Shah, you know, not saying, you know, you know, not uh, putting yourself at that number, but having having a mindset that if you continue on the path that you're on, it's a possibility that you may be a part of the elect. You know, having that type of mind frame, having that confidence, you know, like say to yourself, I, oh, if I continue to do this work and, do you know pray and fast you know do the things that are required you know according to this as the scripture has said you know it's a possibility that you know uh i may be one of the elect i'm just saying i'm not saying me i'm saying in the scenario you know i'm using the scenario if you continue on the work and you continue what you're doing and stay diligent you know the lord will deliver you if you're a part of his elect man and that's that's the, without a shadow of a doubt, man. So with that, you know, I want to get in and get out through the spirit of power, y'all by Shemuel Shah. I want to say, call Allah, y'all by Shemuel Shah. Barakatah, y'all by Shemuel Shah, by Shemuel Kakodash, through the spirit of power, y'all by Shemuel Shah. And Shah.